Well, Carnival's newest cruise ship, it's docked here in Florida. The eco-friendly Mardi Gras now at Port Canaveral. Also today, Royal Caribbean announcing it will restart cruises from the U.S. this summer. So it looks like this hard-hit industry, it's finally starting to make a comeback. And local leaders, they want nothing more than that. NBC6 reporter Steve Letts live at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport with a look. Hey, Steve. And let's start with that cruise news. Royal Caribbean announcing they will set sail out of Port Miami come July 2. It's just the next cruise line announcing plans, which is good news for the cruise industry and the tourism industry. Live here at uh, Fort Lauderdale's airport, uh, which is one of the largest economic drivers in this region, this facility and Broward Seaport both getting a thumbs up in coping with COVID. The message at this meeting, we're back. Hundreds of tourism executives, elected officials, and stakeholders hearing in person about the financial health of Broward's airport, seaport, and tourism industry. The county mayor with this declaration. Our airport is basically back to where they were. Our hotels are ahead of where they were the same time uh, in the year before the pandemic. Attendees heard how during the pandemic, Broward's daily hotel occupancy rate hit above 80% just one time. Since January, the county has enjoyed 51 days with occupancy above 80%. And during the pandemic, Broward welcomed 11 new hotels, adding 1,500 rooms. Here, mainly positive vibes on Broward's tourism future. Trying to adapt to technology, the new environments, the new developments. Certainly the, the ability to rebound with, with hospitality and tourism. I didn't see any other place in America that could rebound better. Arriving at Port Canaveral today, Carnival Cruise Line's biggest ship ever built, the Mardi Gras. Company executive David Candib on South Florida's bounce back. And we need a strong Broward County because many of our guests fly in. They like to spend time the day before, a few days after. So it's important to have a thriving tourism environment. The spine of Broward's tourism industry is Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and Port Everglades, a facility that stayed open for business during the pandemic. The thing about the port is that it has all three so it's not dependent on just one. Because if they were only dependent on crews, they would have been in trouble. But they still had cargo ingoing and outgoing and also patrol. So it's cargo and the fuel farm that kept Port, Everglade, Port Everglades busy during the lull. Again, cruises set to start up again at the port come this summer. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Steve Litz, NBC6 News.